Hello Internet, welcome on back. I just... I have... I'm an idiot, I forgot to plug up my mic. And so it looks like... Uh, nope, okay, we're right where I loaded in the first time I started recording this. So yeah, no. That is where we are at. These guys had nothing on them. Take the white horse metal. So yeah, I recorded. You know, it was about to end the episode when I looked over and I noticed my microphone was coming in. And I was like, "Well, that's strange," because my phone's right here. Then I go to touch it, and my hand goes whoosh. I go. My microphone's not there. Oh. And that is the overly unnecessary story. On why I don't have my microphone. On why I am redoing stuff. And actually, I want to come back through this area. Because I didn't go over here. Uh, last time. I want to see what's up here. Maybe a traitor. Oh, this is the place with uh, Felicia Day. I think her name was Veronica? Yeah, is she up here? She is. Oh, her name was Veronica. No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? The grave. I'm Reaper. <laughs> Grimdark. <laughs> what else we got? None of your business. Okay, we'll go with Good Springs. Wow, you have come a long way then. I've never been there, but I've met some traders who passed that way. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. <laughs> I live in a hole in the ground. But not a <laughs> dry, wet, sandy hole. Well, not a wet, sandy hole, but a dry, comfortable hole. It was a hobbit hole. Well, a bunker, if you want to <laughs> be technical. I think it sounds more interesting that my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? Brother and Steel. Actually, these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So, listen. Can I ask you something on the level? Mmm, sure. I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? Ah! <laughs> here we go! I've heard they shoot lasers from their eyes. <laughs> Low intelligence. Let's go for it. <laughs> wow. I've got to admit, you have completely defied my first. <laughs> oh, lasers. I'll be sure and look out for that next time. Any other juicy bits of intel? <laughs> yeah, I know to shoot them on sight. Uh. Yeah, it's pretty far out, right? Fixating on old technology just doesn't seem very relevant to most people's lives. Hey, so where are you headed anyway? Gonna see an old friend, Hoover Dam. I just uh, Technically. This is quite a journey you're going on then. Must be an interesting relationship to have brought you all this way. I'll be honest. You're the True. first person I've run across out here that looks like she can really handle herself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together. 
help each other out. Uh. Don't you have a family to feed? Like I said, they can handle themselves. And I'm not the only one getting supplies for them. It's a big family. Okay, sure thing. The shower together. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. <coughs> I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? Yeah. I'm great at punching people. I'm not gonna lie. It's a gift. Well, thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Let's hit the road, huh? Oh, neato. Achievements. Yay! Actually, I want really quick. Bleh, I am bad with things right now. Uh, perks. The scribe assistant. The player can craft workbench items through Veronica's dialogue. Well, that just sounds all fine and dandy. What's up? Uh. Step into my Step into my office. There we go. Set that. A okay that. Okay. And then See you Still following? Yeah. And look at that. I got more bullets. No, oh, energy cells, not bullets. You get what I'm saying. Oh, Veronica is gonna have a hard time when um, when we start doing lesion type stuff. And knowing what happened to her lover in the Sierra Madre, that's gonna be rough. Yeah, so I think I want to go back to camp. Golf. That I can find up there. Hmm. Well, there seems to be nothing here. Well, if you're an unarmed character, I'm betting I could, uh. Oh, wait. I thought my intelligence was higher than four. Ah, uh, it's minus. Why is it minus? So I got perks for right now. Early bird. Plus two to each, but then okay. So if we had gone there later in the day, we could have said something intelligent. There's camp golf. First off, I want to check this out. Hmm. Go, followers outpost. Oh, followers of the apocalypse. I like them. Bunch of friendly people. Always wanting to give free Medicare to people. Oh, let's get up here. And see if they're willing to uh, trade with me. Hello. I didn't know the Brotherhood had any people out there. Oh. I have no idea how most of these people. There are so many refugees to care for. You know what? You're right. There are. There are. And as a member of the Proud Legion, I feel like. Once we start doing the uh, DLC stuff at level 20, when we go do when we go to the divide, I'm gonna nuke the shit out of people. Cause normally I don't do that. A in fact, more often than not, I tend to just sit back and tell the nukes to not go anywhere. It's like, well, nuke at anybody sounds like a bad idea in the apocalypse. But no, I'm gonna nuke the shit out of the NCR this time around.
See how that goes for us. Who lives up here? Grub and gulp. Oh, plenty of Brahmin. Enough to let me know that uh, it's not exactly Soylent Green. For those of you who don't get that, that is a Twilight Zone reference. In which uh, the studio show was like, oh, we have a new delicious food product. It's called Soylent Green. Then at the end, you know, got the guy screaming, running through the streets, it's people! It's people! Yeah, can I harvest you? Nope, you're worthless. Now there's probably raiders out here. Just gonna put that out there. Yep. This probably not gonna end well for me. I really should install Project Nevada so I can sprint. I'm tired. Mr. House uh, fixed up the place a bit, making giant walls to protect the lands and whatnot. There she is, the Lucky 38. Sharecropper Farms. I'm thinking that when I go through the uh, Sierra Madre, I'm going to. Uh, they're going to have a guide with me to tell me how to make sure that none of the uh, people die when I go through there. Because, you know, I don't want them to die on account of shit I've done. And because I think it's very difficult to do this without all of them dying. So, yeah, probably want to do that. Ah, hi there, gun runners. Hello, potential customer. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? Uh, show what you got for sale. I am ready to process our transaction. <sighs> First off. Uh, you, sir, give me, let me look at your munitions. Uh, I got 20 gauge stuff. Yeah. I got 40 mil. I need 40 millimeter grenades. I'll buy those later. Right now, I need energy cells, which you don't have. Okay, that that works, I suppose. And what kind of guns you got? Got a ripper. Meh. Sleepy time. 
Uh, he's oh, ten millimeter. Okay. Two step goodbye. Uh, you're a melee weapon. Yeah, I might want to give you to uh, her. Here. Uh. Yeah, here I'll sell you my chopper. Nah. Uh, okay, I'll sell that to you. What else you got here that you want? They might want to buy from me. Uh, any venom? Glam clow. So the cram, Danny boy. Fancy red. I'll get the cola. That's always useful. I really don't use psycho. Uh yeah, I saw that. So a nope. You can probably sell more. Take yeah, take that. Oop. And so. Uh yeah. So the pre-war money. Uh. That yeah. Except, how did we get there? Come back. <clears throat> I still love the fact that uh, this guy had the building built around him. Let's see, breakdown. No, I don't want to break down. That would be less than good. And once we manage to break inside the uh, wonderful, wonderful little place that is a Silver Rush, I do believe it will be wonderful times for all. No, Veronica's ahead of me. Neato. Oh, Nick and Ralph's. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. I don't need a fix, man. Till next time. I want to go. Oh, there's somebody over here that wants me dead. Had enough? <laughs> what you got on you? I can sell that. Yep. This is definitely New Vegas. Welcome to Freeside. Yep, there's that. That's the button. It doesn't even have iron sights. Yo. What are you doing? There you go, kid. Eat up. Thanks, lady. Hello, followers. Yeah. Always activate that nonsense. There's going go in a giant circle. I think I did. <laughs> I think I did. The old Mormon fort. 
Well, can't say I've been a uh, fan of Mormons. Well, that's not entirely accurate. It can be found at Mick and Ralph's. I like Mormons. They are... It's just like that episode of South Park. They are just the nicest people. And there's something incredibly unnerving about that. And actually, with that little talk about Mormons, I dare say it is time to end this little video. So, with that said, I hope you all enjoyed watching this. Uh, because I just like recording videos. I don't. So, yeah. Uh, I'll see you all next time, Internet. Bye.